everybody and welcome to this video with Assassin's Creed Syndicate where we're going to chat about the Assassin's Creed series and the new Origins uh, series. So uh, we're here in London in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. If you haven't played Assassin's Creed Syndicate it's really good actually, I recommend it. Um, especially as there's a Steam sale on right now, it's probably cheap. Um, but the Assassin's Creed series as a whole is something I've been a fan of since the first game. Um, so I thought we'd kind of chat about that and then go into kind of like my thoughts on Origin so far. Let's, we're going up here, see you later. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, let's cross over the Thames. So, uh, I can't remember now when the first Assassin's Creed came out, but it was a long time ago feels like a long time ago um, and I remember there being like a huge amount of kind of hype for it and a lot of kind of like mystery kind of surrounding the game and I don't think it's a spoiler to kind of turn around and say to people that the basis of the Assassin's Creed series is oh look, there's a ruckus going on down there um, is this sense of like being a modern day protagonist who goes into what's called the Animus and then they replay uh, memories of their ancestors. And that was something which, which was never um, like kept up, or, or sorry, never kind of like released as information. So when it actually came in the game, it was kind of a surprise. And certainly when the first Assassin's Creed came out, things like the internet was a lot uh, not as prominent, shall we say. So, you know, it, it didn't really leak. I haven't completed this game yet, by the way. Um, but uh, I intend to before the new one. Anyway, um, so yeah, it, it was also like that the whole concept was really clever. Uh, it kind of seems a little bit dated now, I guess, but at the time it was like revolutionary. I remember being like really kind of like, oh wow, you know, that's a incredible kind of like uh, twist, I guess, to the tale and, and kind of took it to something else. Now, lots of people would probably argue that they're sick and tired of that and would rather just play as the assassin nowadays, but it's important to remember there's been a lot of Assassin's Creed games and, um, you know, it, it, it's safe to say that Oh shit, please throw us. Run. Evie, run. Run, Evie. Run. There we go. Uh, we'll sabotage this. Um, as we go. There we go. Thank you very much. See you later. and the whole like uh, climbing and wall running was 
is people kind of bashing games. So, you know, if a new IP comes out, it doesn't, and it's a AAA game, and it doesn't quite hit the mark, people are often just like, oh, it's gone, you know. Destiny's a great example of that, where, you know, it, the first game wasn't, you know, had its problems. A lot of that was addressed with DLC and stuff like that, but still, there's problems. But I'm hoping that number two is going to be similar to how Assassin's Creed 2 really, really did a much better job of the game and everything than the first one. So it probably helped that the protagonist Assassin's Creed 2 Ezio uh, was a lot better, a lot more kind of charismatic and a lot more interesting. It started off with you kind of like, and this again, spoilers if you haven't played Assassin's Creed 2, the like 10 year old game, but uh, you know, you, you lose your family and um, oh god, we should probably not be around here. I haven't liberated it, so there's going to be a lot of people. But maybe we'll walk along this promenade. I mean, I'll be completely honest with you, London still looks exactly like this nowadays. Right down to little kids in their chimney sweep outfits and stuff like that. It's no different. That's a joke. Anyway, um, but yeah, number two of the Assassin's Creed series really did a, a great job of righting the wrongs of the first one. I think most people would say that Assassin's Creed 2 was the best in the series. Now, personally, I don't think that's true, but I will say it's a great game. It is a fantastic game. Um, really, really enjoyable to play. Um, really liked it. It was, it was the first time you really felt it was this kind of like living world, I guess, that you were in. Okay. Okay, guys. Could you chill out, please? God's sake. Let's cross the road. These guys are way too busy. Shot. Um, yeah, a black flag. 
flag. Uh, definitely one of my favourites in the series. Um, just because the whole boat things, I love like the naval kind of stuff. I think I've said that before many times on this channel that that really, uh, you know, is something which I look for in video games a lot. Um, like I, I really want a good naval video game, but alas, I've never actually <laughs> found one which quite clicked. Black flag though, very very close, very close. Um, obviously the the ship thing was a kind of a side side mission almost but was probably better than the actual main missions of the game you know uh, oh is that okay let's maybe can we uh assassinate
uh, yeah, so Unity never quite, I don't think, kicked off. And then we have Syndicate, which is where we are now, which is my favourite in the series so far. Um, it kind of probably um, one of the reasons why it's my favourite is because it's set in London, and I live in London. And, like, obviously, as a someone born in England, um, going to school in England, you learn a lot about Victorian-era London, which is where this is set. And so it's really cool to see that in the game. I also love things like the grapple hook, uh, stuff like that, and I really like the protagonist in, well, I like Evie more than Jacob, uh, I think she's really cool, um, I like the fact you had, I think it was Assassin's Creed Liberation on like the feet or something where she, you played as a, uh, a female assassin, but other than that I think she's like the first main game female protagonist and she's really good, um, Jacob's okay, he's a bit of a douche but he grows on you. Um, but yeah, I really like this game. I haven't completed it yet, as I say, I need to get through to it. It's not an uncommon thing for me to not complete a game. Uh, just so many games come out that sometimes I'm like, yeah, I've had a good 30 hours in this game. I don't really feel the need to press on a bit, but then often I'll jump back into a game. I have done on many occasions, and I think I will do uh, more, because I love discovering this world and seeing things, and it's really beautiful, uh, despite being a few years old now. Um, so, I'm gonna get that one. Just gonna proc. No. No. Evie. No. No. Um. So yeah, I. I do feel like this is my favourite in the series. Um, from that point of view. Um, but what will the next one hold? Well, we now know after E3 that. It's going to be called Assassin's Creed Origins. There was a lot of rumour it was going to be called Assassin's Creed Empire. It's going to be called Assassin's Creed Origins. It's going to be set in ancient Egypt. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet. On one side I'm like, ancient Egypt's also something which interests me a lot. So um, I could see myself being really uh, kind of like enthralled with that world. Um, but on the other hand, I kind of wanted it to move forward rather than backwards. Um, I kind of, you know, the, the, I, I want to see a modern day Assassin's Creed. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it wouldn't work because of this or this or this, but I kind of want to see it and just to see what it is. Um, or not even modern day, maybe like a World War II, World War One Assassin's Creed. You do actually see a bit in Syndicate of like a World War Two. I think a lot of people maybe thought they were going to you know, go into that, but, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm definitely, like, you know, in terms of, I'm, I'm excited by Egypt, I'm just also a bit like, mm, you know, how is this going to go, you know, because it is, Origins it is the kind of beginning of the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, uh, the formation of it, I guess, um, and everything that goes with it, so, you know, you're not going to have all the, the fancy gadgets and stuff like that you have, which can make the game a lot of fun. Um, you know, in like Syndicate, you have, you, you saw what I was using earlier, throw knives and um, hallucinogenic darts and, you know, all that type of thing. You'll still have other things. Also, we saw in the demo, you had a bird which you could use to scout areas, which looks quite cool. I don't know if you can even attack with it or anything like that, but... Um, it looks pretty cool, a uh, bit Far Cry Primal, but that's okay, I guess. Um, and I like the look of it, it looks very beautiful. I wouldn't say it's a stellar leap forward in graphics, but I would settle for um, better performance. Now, Assassin's Creed Syndicate runs really well, but I have a really powerful PC, and it damn well should run well. Uh, I know a lot of people kind of like, I'd like to see it run well on like PlayStation 4 and things like that as well, and you know, lower end PCs um, as well, even if you have to turn down the settings, which obviously you will do, it's not, you know, uh, going to do anything else, but yeah, it's sometimes Assassin's Creed games have played with performance issues, which there's a lot of people on the screen at one time and a lot of things to render, and you know, it's understandable sometimes that it's difficult, but you know, I, I, th I think I'd like to see that as I don't think we've had a you need to go up there though and uh, do the old eagle view up here. As yeah, um, 
I don't think we're, we're seeing a stellar leap forward in graphical fidelity. I could be wrong, I've only seen, oh sorry, it's my phone go off. I've only seen the kind of like, um, uh, what's it called? The, the demos at E3 and things like that. So we've only seen part of the game. And I, I, I saw an interview with the uh, developer of the game and he said it's like much larger than that. There's a lot more, um, I should be able to do a leap of faith here, right? Infamous leap of faith into the hay, or in this case, leaves, because we don't have hay in London. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone still talks like that in London, by the way, if you ever come here. Time. Uh, where was that? Uh, chest. Did I not see a chest? Going loopy. Uh, perhaps I am. Is there one over here or something? Um, but yeah, so it, it does look interesting. Definitely. I am intrigued into it. Do I feel like they've changed the game in any way? Too early to tell, I think. But from what we've seen, no. But that could be intentional. As in, you know, you don't want to show all your, um, you know, you don't want to show off all your little tricks and stuff. Oh, down there it is. Um, uh, before, um, you know, just straight away, do you? So, you know, there could be other areas because I'm the sort of person who's like, um, I like, uh, busy settings like this and one of the things is because it's set in a desert is it going to be quite empty and barren and, and stuff like that I, I hope not and I don't think they will I think they'll if they do it well enough and as like you know desert areas but also you know oasis I, oasis is I never know what the plural of oasis is it's just oasis I think uh, if you have that little towns villages bigger cities you know the pyramids then yeah that could be super cool I think because uh, one of the things I just love doing Assassin's Creed is just running around, as you can see. Just exploring the world from the rooftops, looking down and seeing what's going on. It's really, really cool. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that they... I'm sure they will. I know uh, the uh, developer of the game, I've forgotten his name now, you have to excuse me, but he was saying that um, he worked on Black Flag and he said, with Black Flag... Um, they worked on exploration a lot, but not so much on discovery. And, and what they want to do is combine both so exploration and discovery. Um, so, yeah, that's a good sign because exploration and discovery are like my favourite things. Is that my train? Let's see if we can catch it. I 
guess I am slightly biased because I like Syndicate because obviously being English, British, uh, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it's just kind of cool, you know, um, but yeah, so I think I'm, I'm optimistic about Origins, um, I hope you guys are too, really, um, I, I can understand if some people are going to be like, oh, you know, I'm out of Assassin's Creed now until they do something really different, I can understand that, um, but you'll probably end up buying the game because people just like, you know, you'll, you'll look at it, and that's the other thing, the Assassin's Creed games actually, they generally review pretty darn well, um, like Assassin's Creed Syndicate, this one, is the better critic stores like 76, which is pretty good, it's up there with like Neo or something like that, so it's well thought of um, as a game, it's just a lot of the time with the public it's not doesn't go down so well because they feel like it's a very similar game which yes and no uh, it, uh, it does do things differently obviously the, the grapple hook is a mighty fine addition along with other things as well um, So I hope that, I mean they've said there's going to be like loads of customization stuff in Origins, um, the fact that there's like 15 different editions already is like, oh, why, you know, look, uh, don't get me wrong, I like collector's editions, um, there's that one that's like $800 with a statue, it's like, I don't generally have a problem with that, but what I hate is when you see like, oh, this edition, this one contains the season pass and stuff like that. It's like, I, I like this editions where they include interesting things with the game, whether it's an art book or, you know, a little statue or other things like that. Uh, I feel like there's a market for that, but what I don't like is when it's like £40 or whatever for the main game, and then it's uh, another, like, um, yeah, it's, and then it's like, oh, or you can get the £60 version, which includes the season pass for DLC that you have no idea what it even is. Uh, so, I hate that. Uh, or like, I'll oh, get this one from GameStop and you get an exclusive outfit like this. And it's like, oh, I hate these practices in games. I, the thing is, I'd say, oh, I understand why they do it, but I don't understand why they do it. Because they, it, it, it's like, it just annoys people. It just really, really annoys people. And yeah, sure, they make money, but you're gonna alienate your customer base to a point whereby they just will get, you know, fed up with it and not want to do anything. So don't do that, Ubisoft. Although you are doing it, so it's too late. Not that I thought they would listen to me anyway. Not that I can blame them. I haven't ever run a successful video game company. In fact, I've never even ever run a company full stop, so what do I know? Um, and maybe we see those enhancements in the game that the money that that has pays for. I don't know. It's in over here. There's a nice park over here. So, as I said, we, we don't know too much. We, we don't really know about, like the story elements to it yet or anything like that um, hopefully it has a, a, a pretty cool story I felt like they generally do a pretty good job of, of story in games it's, it's usually a little bit kind of like uh, what's the word cliche almost this is the bad guy that's the bad guy speaking of bad guys no I'm not you gotta catch me first copper
Thank you. 
guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, let me know if you are excited for Origins, or if you like Syndicate, or you hate Syndicate, or you just hate Assassin's Creed. Assassin somewhere.